Meet Hudson Asiema, a computer scientist by profession. He is, however, no ordinary computer geek. Hudson has been deaf since the age of four after his sense of hearing gradually deteriorated to the point that no hearing aid could assist him. My parent told me that, well, when I became deaf, for them, they didn't know where I can go to school. So I was taken to, to assessment and from that was given a hearing aid to help me with communication. Then when I joined a deaf school, that is when now I started using lots of sign language. Now, but doing my high school education, I was in a mainstream school. I did my A level. After that, I went to, to the US. I, I did my, my first level. And after doing that, I transferred to a mainstream university. First, I was a little bit hesitant because, you know, I've been mostly with the deaf community. But the person that I was with really advised me to, you know, go to a mainstream uh, class so that I can, you know, get more skills and even challenge myself in this new environment. It is from the inclusive classroom that Hudson began seeing the challenges that face deaf people in learning environments. One such challenge is that besides other forms of written communication, all communication to people living with disabilities has to be facilitated through a sign language interpreter. That experience is what inspired the conception of the finger spelling app, an app that can be used offline by both those with and without the ability to hear to learn sign language. I saw the, this a gap because before I, I did content in sign language, that was generally for adults. But this one, it was to focus mainly to kids. Because we didn't have online material that, uh, you, that are accessible for, ki for, for kids at the moment. So I, I, I thought I should come you know, with an app that I can develop so that even parents for, for the deaf kids can also use the same uh, to learn some language. Also, uh, an app that considers privacy in terms of the users. Because the, the app that was doing before for the adult, it was general, but this one, the content is more suited for kids. The app also provides the much needed digital content for deaf learners. It has four segments. One is for learning, two is for, for practice, then we have quiz and puzzles. So you, you, you have the, the three segments that you can choose. For hearing kids, when they choose the, the, uh, the learning segment, they'll have picture messages and voice to help them practice on the same. So we have uh, picture messages. For instance, if you have an A, B, C, D, then for the quiz section, it'll be asking you, you have the picture of A, then choose from below which one is the correct answer and you try to, to match the two. Then for, for puzzle we have a number of uh, manual alphabets that have been mixed up and it's for you to come up with a word from them. Despite the progress that is being made to digitally include the deaf, Hudson says access to information remains a challenge for the deaf. Me as, as a dis developer the challenges that I've seen is equality in terms of accessibility, comparing the deaf and the hearing. Now, most of the time, the hearing people, when they are done with their studies, they can easily access jobs. But me as a deaf person, it becomes hard. So there is no that equality at that particular uh, sector. If you look at the televisions, we have a lot of uh, verbal communication. You have radios, you can get information and develop yourself. But me, as a deaf person, then I get that information second hand. And after that, you become a little bit left behind. If we had, like, we have those settings that provide for closed captions that you can follow, it's, it's okay. But now, most of other, other programs don't even have closed captions for the same. 
So I'll, I'll have to, to focus on, on business news, that is where, where we are given interpreters, but for other programs you are not given like, access to the same and you have to, develop, to depend on yourself to get information. According to the 2019 Kenya Population and Housing Census, there are 918,270 people aged five years and above in Kenya who are living with disability. The 2019 census revealed that 385,417 people, which translates to about four out of every 10 people living with disability, have a hearing disability. An academic paper by the University of Nairobi that was published in March 2019 by the International Journal of Science and Research indicated that 71.61% of learners aged between 5 to 15 years with hearing impairment had profound hearing impairment, 25.93% had severe hearing impairment, and 2.46% had moderate hearing impairment. The paper further estimates that around 30% of all deaf children in Kenya do not go to school. It is against this backdrop that organizations such as Enable are supporting initiatives such as Hudson's to create access to information for the deaf. The world that we live in today mostly is uh, based on technology and almost everything is changing now to, techni to technology and you know with the VI they mostly deal with uh, something that they can be able to touch, braille. But when they come to technology, they're able to learn more. And that's why we introduce them to technology. Even because when they go to college or universities, most of what they learn there is based on technology. And when you introduce them to technology, you open the world to them. Most of the market is happening in technology, and most of the things that people do today is based on technology. So when you introduce them to technology, you open the world to them. Through the Enable Lab, Omulama Edwin, an alumna of the Finger Spelling Up project and Thicker School for the Blind, has been able to find his independence and solid footing. When I learned the computer skill, I was able to search tutorials and to search uh, things related to music. Mm -hmm. And I was able to learn the piano keyboard and the guitar as well without forgetting the drum set and through that uh, it gave me the confidence to begin my YouTube channel where I post piano tutorials and I also upload uh, music live sessions with my friends. While solid steps are being taken to ensure learners with disabilities get a fair chance, Hudson says there is room to do more. My vision of the future is well, to see equality between the deaf and the hearing kids. Not having one category being left behind, missing in terms of content. We have a lot of content that is accessible for the hearing kids and it's being developed a lot and this helps with cognitive development of the hearing kids. So we need to, to, to bring out uh, do away with this communication barrier within the, the peers, either deaf and the hearing, the teachers and other you know, sectors in this uh, republic. So if we have hearing people who can develop uh, you know, these apps, it's okay, but you know, need to interact with the deaf community and know what is applicable for them. With such ease and finesse on the keyboard, Edwin is a living testimony that with the right assistive technology, disability is not inability.